The HBA has 15 chapters. Our largest chapter is the Metro chapter, and they held uh, the first Wills event back in October of 2013. The event was such an incredible success. It brought together professionals uh, spanning the full spectrum of healthcare fields and the conversations that were ignited about leadership and innovation in women's the healthcare space was really tremendous. Uh, the idea behind Wills was that it was designed to increase awareness, invoke change, really advance the discussion about this topic and hopefully end up shrinking the gap in healthcare disparities for women. And what we know from talking to these women all the time is that uh, their brains and their days are jam-packed. Um, they have the job responsibility, calendar invites, deadlines, the news, the advice, the gossip. Um, the questions that make their families, their schools, and their careers go round and round. We know that if mom isn't healthy, then you know the chances are very strong that her family isn't as healthy as it should be. So 86% of working moms say they're the ones making all the medical appointments. 89% are managing all the medications. 86% are researching you know, whatever's coming up with their kid's health or their spouse. Um, and it's important to note here that 45% of them say that the, their primary source of health info is their doctor, but 39% say it's coming from websites. Since 1985, more women have died of cardiovascular disease than men. What do we know about some of these women? We know that two-thirds of these women never make it to the hospital. They die suddenly. 90% of those women who died suddenly have at least one cardiovascular risk factor that we can prevent. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, quitting smoking, picking up an exercise program. So we need to improve our messaging to all women. In fact, it's no longer about an individual doctor taking care of a patient. It's about a team of doctors collaborating, a healthcare team. So charting the future for women's healthcare is engaging colleagues from nursing to physicians to pharmacists participating as part of the healthcare team. While you may not see yourself in the business of health, you absolutely have to think about the health of your employees, the health of your constituents, the health of your community. Uh, I think that prioritization is what starts to kind of grease the wheels of progress. Um, it, it allows for us to scale innovation at a faster rate and to look at things more comprehensively rather than to try to sort of just address diseases and silos and to not take the individually patient-centered approach. So making sure that everybody feels like they absolutely have a responsibility for health and the health improvement of others is um, really our focus and everything stems from that. Innovation to AMWA is viewing science and medicine through an innovative lens, thinking outside of the box and finding creative solutions to the specific healthcare needs of women, embracing new scientific data and helping to translate the findings of research to the treatment of patients and understanding that changes in healthcare begin with the education of students, physicians in training, and practicing physicians. We want instant everything, but if, it, if it's too complex, it just sort of goes in one and out the other. So we need to make the messages as simple as possible. Bring them down to a level where we can really not only understand them, but be able to apply them and show me how. Again, you just can't give someone a message. You have to teach them how to do that. How do you apply this to your everyday life? How do you, you know, low, how do you reduce stress? You know, just telling somebody to learn to listen to their body. Listen to what your body is telling you. And if you're staying for the network reception and more time with each other and our esteemed exhibitors, 
Please enjoy the rest of your evening with us. Ignite conversation, collaborate, and create change in women's healthcare innovations. Thank you again for coming. Thank you.